good morning my dear students in our last class we have started chapter 4 right in our last class we have started chapter 4 that is called planning and in the class we came to know what is the exact meaning of planning as well as features of planning in today's class we are going to see two important concepts which are very important for four marks for the exam point of view. In today's class, we are going to see importance of planning and limitations of planning. Which both topics are very important. These questions has been arised many times in the examination. Let us see one by one. Importance of planning. There are six points you should maintain in the notes importance of planning for four marks which is very important for you first point is planning provides direction second point planning reduces the risk of uncertainty third point planning reduces overlapping and wasteful activities fourth point Planning provides innovative ideas. Fifth point, planning facilitates decision making. Sixth point, planning establishes standards for controlling. These are the six importance of planning. Let us go one by one. First point, planning provides direction. Obviously, whenever we do any plan, it will show a correct direction. It will show a right path. Either how we have to start the work. When we have to start the work. What we have to do. That is the direction which shows by the planning. That is the first point. Planning provides direction. Always whenever before starting any kind of activity. We will make a plan. That plan always shows the correct Planning reduces the risk of uncertainty. If we do the perfect planning, that planning always helps us to achieve the goals whatever we have made for the future. See here, planning reduces the risk of uncertainty is the thing but according to the planning, whatever the activities we are performing, that activities we can conduct in a smooth manner and we can take it in an easy manner for the future year. We will make a plan only for the future purpose by thinking that we should not create any problem in the future. We will not face any issue in the future. That is the main point. Planning reduces the risk of uncertainty. Always the perfect planning reduces the risk for the performing of the activities and achieving the goals of the organization. Next, third point, planning reduces overlapping and wasteful activities. Obviously, planning is reduces overlapping. Overlapping is nothing but extra timing, extra timing, extra activities, unnecessary activities. Always planning reduces and it is reducing wasteful activities. It is reducing in the production activities. It is reducing in the marketing activities. If we make a perfect plan, the planning always reduces the overlapping, extra timing, extra wasteful activities, extra laborers, extra technology, extra place, extra missionaries. It will always reduces the unnecessary activities which we are performing in the organization. Planning reduces overlapping and wasteful activities. Planning always helps us to consume the time, to use the time, to make the perfect time and it is always reduces the wasteful activities in the future if you make the correct planning. Next, fourth point, planning provides innovative ideas. Obviously, block planning provides the innovative ideas, new new ideas, new new technology always brings to the organization. 
planning is always bringing the innovative new new ideas new new technologies new new advantages to the organization that is the fourth point next fifth point planning facilitates decision making obviously the perfect planning is always showing the correct decisions to the managers of the organization to work in effective manner and efficient manner in the organization planning facilitates planning always helps to the organization planning always helps to the top level management to work in efficient manner in effective manner and taking the correct decisions of the organization in a easy manner next sixth point planning establishes standards for controlling yes obviously if we make the correct planning planning always establishes the standards controlling without creating any issue without creating any problem without facing any problem in the future in production in sales in marketing in different different departments of the organization the planning always controls the managerial activities of the organization these are the six points which is very important for the four parts the heading is importance of planning which always helps to the organization to run in a successful and easy manner of the organization let us go for the next heading limitations of planning limitations of planning this is also a four marks question which is very important limitations is nothing but disadvantages of planning if we make the plan what are the problems we may face what are the disadvantages it may come across if we do the planning there are six points let us see one by one first point is planning leads to vgd second point planning may not work in a dynamic environment third point planning reduces creativity fourth point planning involves huge cost fifth point planning is time consuming sixth point planning does not guarantee success let us go one by one planning leads to vgd planning leads to vgd if we make a plan that plan will never work for a long period of time it is a time limit it, it has if you make a plan there is a time limit for each and every plan and always it never gives freedom who are working in organization we should work according to the plan of the top level management it never gives freedom to the employees it never gives freedom to the workers for working in organization according to that plan only we have to work next second point planning may not work in a dynamic environment planning will may not work in a dynamic environment is nothing but planning is not a fixed planning will not work in one place planning always changes because of political because of social because of religion because of technology because of technology because of consumers planning always changes planning may not work in a dynamic environment means we we what are the plan we have made that plan will not work for that long period of time it always changes because of political because of social because of religion because of casteism because of technology it always changes in the organization next third point planning reduces creativity yes obviously planning reduces creativity and innovative ideas in the organization why because the rules and regulations the planning is maintaining is preparing only by the top level management of the organization what are the planning which has made by the top level management that should be followed by the middle level management and lower level management if middle level management subordinates may or not happy with the planning whatever the planning made by the top level management where the planning is not giving creative ideas to work according to their planning by the subordinates that is called planning reduces creativity planning reduces creativity is nothing but the top level management is making the plan 
without asking in the low level management and middle level management. Whatever the planning is made by the top level management, that should follow by the middle level management and low level management. Where here the planning activity which where low level management and middle level management never involves. They are not, if they are not happy with the planning of top level management, even though they should follow that planning only. Because of that, they will not bring new new ideas, new new technologies, innovative things in the organization. Next, the fourth point, planning involves huge cost. Obviously, for making a planning, there is a huge cost incurred. It is not easy to make a plan. It is not easy to make assumptions. It is not easy to do some activities here. For the planning, it involves huge cost. We have to pay more amount for the planning. Without perfect planning, we cannot survive in the organization. So that's why planning involves huge cost, planning involves more money, planning involves more payment for the planners to work in the organization. Next nice. okay. fifth point, planning is time consuming. Yes, obviously, if you make a plan, it will take more time. If we make a perfect plan, if we want to achieve the goals of the organization, it is taking more and more time. How means, whatever the activities we are performing in the future, without plan also, we can complete within a time. If we make a plan, it may take for a long period of time. Next, sixth point, planning does not guarantee success, successful. If you make a plan, we should not think that whatever the plan we have made, it may success in the future. There may, some problems may arise, some issues may arise. Here, first activity, see here, first activity, we have started first plan and we have started first activity and we are successful. We will go for the second activity. Second activity, what are the second activity? We will go according to the plan. We are not guaranteed that we will success as a first activity. Here, what are the activities, what are the performance we are doing in the organization? It may not give a guarantee that what are the we have successful for the first activity, we will get the guarantee for the second activity. If we are success in the second activity, it is not giving a guarantee that we will success in the third activity. That is called here, planning does not guarantee success. We don't have any guarantee that we will success in the next activities. It does not have guarantee. These are the six limitations. These are the six disadvantages of planning. I hope all of you have been understood. You should make notes for this point. Have you understood this point? Let's go for the next topic in the next class. Thank you so much.